rock with the bass. Pajamas live in effect, and I don't waste time on the mic with a dope rhyme. And I'm with Maria Hinojosa, the senior class president. Maria, what will we be having for breakfast this morning? Um, we'll be having Danish croissants and milk. And what type of activities are going to go on during the breakfast? We're going to be discussing um, fundraisers, service projects, um, grad night, everything. Yes. What do you think about us not having a DJ at the senior class breakfast? Well, I think it's really disappointing here. I really expected to get up and jam for a little while. But I don't know. I think I'm going to have to maybe fail this year so I can come back next year and have a really good year. And um, what do you expect the food to be like? When you, with you in line right now, what do you expect the food to be like? I don't know. It looks okay, but uh, if I don't get my $3 worth, I'm going to be real disappointed. Um, what do you think about the food so far? It's pretty good. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's kind of cold. Um, how would you change the breakfast if you were in charge of it? Well, I would have went to McDonald's and got the $2 pancake and sausage breakfast. I would have thrown a jam because we like to jam. We would have had more meat. Warm, they swarm, come back again, tear it up and transform From BB King to Bo Diddley And Sullivan was on the TV screen To be seen with the Beatles and the Jackson 5 But who the doors, the gold, the stones, and even I Give it the bit to get quick Helping to prove that it's legit Yeah, parents dissed it back in the days The same way they diss rap, are you amazed? So DJs, let's rock and roll If I could describe my senior year in one phrase, it would be, what happened? It's finally over. It's been a letdown. I just want to know where it all went to. It was sloomy. It was different than I thought it would be. <laughs> Summer school. Unlike many others, I've had a lot of fun, and I've learned a lot. Mom, can I have some more money? Well, to describe my year in one word, good. It's very good. <laughs> very exciting. Well, to describe my senior year in one word, I guess it'll have to be boring. 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 Mom, can I have some more money? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mom, can I have some more money? Beautiful. It has to be beautiful. It was uh, very lubricated. <laughs> <laughs> My senior year in one way was... <laughs> I have to say it was quick. It would be splendid. <laughs> Again. 
Let me light your candle Cause the mama I'm so hard to handle now around Yeah All to handle now Touchdown Broncos If I had the opportunity today to teach you, it would be Coach Dentino. There being a wide variety of teachers out here and everything, I think I would think Coach Johnson, Coach Justice, and Coach Johnson. For me, it'd have to be Ms. Jacobs. <laughs> <laughs> this teacher has the nicest legs in the whole school. That's Ms. Coe. Tino because he's really straightforward and you know where he's coming from. <laughs> if I could date any teacher, I think it would be Coach Batten or Coach Dentino. I think it would be Ms. Vadas. Oh. Ms. Jacobs. <laughs> Dentino. Oh, Lord. Don't ask me why. <laughs> uh, Ms. Granberry. <laughs> Ms. Rowe, because she's so pretty, you know. Mr. Dentino. <laughs> Mr. Oliver. <laughs> Do it. Go. Go. People gonna laugh. <laughs> we'll date Sergeant Henderson. Like double the pleasure. In this school, I would date Miss Janky, Miss Jacobs, and Miss Maderos at the same time. Hey, hold on. Coach G. I thought it was Dentino. It would have to be Miss Cole. I mean Miss Cole. Miss Cole, she has that bod. Yeah. <laughs> Person I did in school would probably be Miss Granberry because I need some uh, little points in her class to pass for this year. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jacobs, because I knew pretty good in that class, so I'll take her. <laughs> I date Coach Dentino. I would date Miss Denson. I would date Miss Thompson. I date Miss Knight because I'd be coming home to home cook meals every every day. I date Miss Hall. I date Miss Chester just to get Ed jealous. <laughs> My second hour teacher who looks like she's 30 years old, Miss Stinson. I date either Mr. Ramos or Mr. Wanovich because they're interesting and smart. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't date any teacher in the school. I mean, I like older women, but not that old. <laughs> if I could date a teacher, it'd have to be Miss Janky. I think I'd date Miss um, Coe, because she is so sexy. It would have to be Coach Batten. Uh, we wouldn't date none of them because we're too pretty for them. Yo. Yo. If I can date any teacher, it'll be definitely Coach Batten. <laughs> date a teacher in this school? You're right. Personally, it's not a, a question of who I want to date, but uh, how many of the female teachers want to date uh, Big Rich here? It would have to be Coach G. You know, he brings out, with his Macedonian accent, he brings out that feminine wild. <laughs> it doesn't kill me, but <clears throat> Miss Janky. <laughs> I'm not too sure. There's a few sexy teachers out there, but Miss Jacobs pretty sexy, and so is Miss Holdrum. Yeah. 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 
Alberto. I'd say Coach Dentino. Definitely. It would definitely be Mr. Bevilacqua. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elsie. I'll date anybody for an A. <laughs> it would have to be Coach Johnson because I could teach him a few wrestling moves. I think it would have to be Mr. Tahoka so I can run through the scientific method with him. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I think I might go out with Mr. Cobb if he'd give me an A in physics. <laughs> I think it would be ha it have to be Coach Dentino because he's real fine. If I had to choose the teacher I would go out with, it would definitely have to be the coach of the varsity football team, Dale Hardy. I love to rub my fingers through his hair. Uh, I'd pick Miss Hall. If I had the opportunity to date a teacher in this school, it would be Coach Dentino because I've seen him once he's worked up a sweat. <laughs> um, I would go for Coach Batten because of his looks, except for his body, and I'd go for Coach G because of his body. I'd have to say that my dream date would be Mr. Calero because I just love a man who can speak a foreign language. Oh, solo mio! <laughs> if I had to choose a man out, it would be Coach Johnson because he's so fine. <laughs> I would choose Coach Tino because he's fine and Mr. Zori because he had no butt. Ladies and gentlemen, hostess here high school's homecoming court. The views may be wrong, they may even be perverted. He'll hear me out, tell won't easily be converted.
step back a little bit. Then we step back. Keep that line coming out of the back line. Keep on moving. All right, guys, guys, I want to see you guys start shaking it a little bit. All you guys in the line, let me see you move your butts a little bit. Ladies, ladies, start shimmying. You got to wiggle it down. the new 1990-91 homecoming king and queen, Doug Irie and Trinette Elliott. Trinette, how do you feel about winning? Great. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't believe it. When they called your name, what was your first reaction? I was happy. <laughs> Very happy. Just, I was, I didn't think I, I had, I didn't think I was going to get it. I had, you know, I thought somebody else was going to get it. I was really shocked. I was just, <laughs> I noticed all your friends running out towards you. Were you were you totally surprised by winning, or did you expect somebody else to win? Well, I was surprised because I expected somebody else to win. Because you know, all day it said your competition is this girl, this girl, you know. So it gets you, you know, like tied to the knot in your stomach, you know. <laughs> but I was really surprised. Doug, what was your first reaction when they called your name? I know you weren't expecting to win today. It was actually it was a shock of my life. I, I was very surprised to win. Uh, all as with Trinette, all during the day. It was like it was between this person and this person, and people said this certain person would win, and I was very surprised to win. It, it was a wonderful, wonderful way to cap off my senior year. How did you feel stepping out onto the court waiting for your name to be called? <laughs> I was extremely nervous, very nervous. Uh, I, I thought I had no chance, but no, I'm here. <laughs> Congratulations once again. For BTV, this has been Debbie Crocker. <laughs>
my favorite song would have to be the mm, theme song from Sesame Street. <laughs> you know, uh, the, so. sunny day sweeping the clouds away on my way to where the air is sweet. <laughs> my favorite song happens to be a particular number of my Mozart, which coincidentally doesn't have any words, so I can't sing it. But I can hum it for you. You want me to hum it? Yes? Okay. Dan, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I don't have a CD player. I'd put it in a car and drive off and everything. My name is Don Roman, and my favorite song is Tom's Diner. Hi, my name is Demita Ferguson, and my favorite song is Kissing Game. All summer long, we've been together, and <laughs> never felt so good. Cause when I'm with you, <laughs> it's such a good time. Yes, it is. <laughs> My favorite song is by Color Me Bad, Sex You Up. And there's, I'm going to do my favorite dance move along with this song right here because it's the 90s and uh, you only need to know one dance move. So I'm going to sing along right here. Ooh, I want to sex you up. Crocker. And my favorite song in the whole world is I Touch Myself. I love myself. I want you to love me when I feel down. I want you above me. I search myself. I want you to find me. I forget myself. I want you to remind me. My name is Michelle Johnson, and my favorite song is by Paul Simon. It's called The Obvious Child. It would be a Michelle song. Well, I'm accustomed to the smooth ride. <laughs> or maybe I'm a dog who's lost his pride. I don't expect to be treated like a fool no more. Hi, I'm Jody. And I'm Sonia. And our favorite song is Bingo. Bingo. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O. <laughs> My favorite song, oh, by the way, I'm Mike Preston, is the worst song that was ever made by the greatest band in the history of rock and roll. That's REM, and it's called Stand. And I'm going to do the dance for you as I'm singing it. So, you know, like, get ready for this one, okay? Stand in the place where you work now face west don't think about direction who Okay that's it uh, one of my favorite songs from this year is by the B52s I don't know I feel like something's happening something big and lovely Five, six, seven, eight. Mommy, I like to dedicate to all the teachers out here. Well, I'm free to do what I want any old time. How's it going? Well, yeah. um, my favorite song is by Urban Dance Squad, Deeper Shade of Soul. Hey, sing it, buddy. Sing it, dude. Sing it. Come on. Come on. Deeper Shade of Soul. Yeah, yeah, just a deeper shade of soul. Yeah, yeah. My favorite song is El Negro. Mami, El Negro está rabioso. Quiere bailar conmigo. Decíselo a mi papa. <laughs> my favorite song is by Color Me Bad. I want to sex you up. <laughs> it's getting late. Why are you still here, girl? Have you made up your mind? You want to make love tonight? My favorite, one of my favorite songs is uh, L.A. Woman by The Doors, and I can't, the lyrics are kind of hard to understand, but I'll try. <laughs> it goes, uh, well, I just got into town about an hour ago. <laughs> Took a look around, see which way the wind blow, and the rest. <laughs> we are louder. Oh, oh, oh said, ever we are proud. proud. Each day we are seeking, seeking, singing or Okay, this is how I think Homestead Alma Mater should be sung. Fair Homestead High, by thy side we'll stand and always Praise thy name. Can 
I, can I put in something like, this is American music, take one, one, two, three, four. Do you like American music? I like American music. Don't you like American music, baby? scheduled program. Okay, for all you ROTC cadets, this is my impression of Sergeant Gonzalez. This, and he goes, what are you doing? Press on, press on. Yeah. <laughs> this is my impersonation of Miss Folgem. When I grew up in South Carolina, we used to dye our kids white, and then the other ones would be white at the toes, and then we just dye our shoes, and class, be quiet. <laughs> okay, pick a faculty member and impersonate them for us. Hmm. I'd like to impersonate Coach McCray in the hall. Let's go. Move it. Come on. Hey. Move it. Let's go. Okay, I'd like to impersonate Miss Hester. <laughs> Throw your gum out. I'm going to give you a conduct cup for that. That's the second time I've told you. <laughs> okay. All right, I want to impersonate Mr. Tohoka. It does occur, but. It's very, very rare, you know. It just doesn't happen very often. Okay, this is Mr. Brandon. <laughs> this is my impression of Mrs. Hall. You little cheater eater, red bug eaters, you have something in your mouth that I would not hold in my hand. <laughs> oh Lord, it's hard to be humble <laughs> when you're perfect in every way. Uh, this is my impression of Sergeant Gonzalez. Okay, cadets, it's time for you to bite the bullet. <laughs> Write me a memo and send it to my office. This is my impression of Mrs. Vogue. Well, Lennon, you know you haven't been here yesterday, the day before that, the day before that. I don't think 100 push-ups is going to cover this one, Lennon. This is my impression of Miss Andre. Oh, you poop head. This is my imitation. I'm Miss Granberry doing the electric slide. <laughs> this is an imitation of my Spanish teacher, Mrs. Freemerman. <laughs> you not tell me what to do. I am the senora in this class, and you are the little senoritas. And you not tell me. Pepe and Lito and Luis and Berta, you too. You be quiet in this class while I am teaching, okay? This is my impression of Coach Bobby. 
Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, let's go to class over there. Let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm going to imitate Mr. Yak. Okay, class. Cease. <laughs> this is my impression of Miss Granberry. <laughs> I never forget Mr. Brandon saying, That's not a tune. Can't you hear that? That's not a tune, son. These are the words we will never forget from Miss Hall. Good morning, my sweet Dimpleton darlings. May the gods of obesity, zits, and a dateless prom night be sent upon you. Okay, we're going to imitate Miss Hester. <laughs> I'm going to imitate Mr. Sherwin. This is his best rendition of the fox and the finnick. Well, on one side you got the fox, and the other side you got the finnick. And old people might call it a finnick, but the young person might call it a fox. There's a fox and a finnick and a finnick and a fox. You get it? So far, yeah. 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 well, you gotta 
see it, he's going around. Hey, what you guys want to ride? Okay, another day, another day we doing, we doing the Nets church, you know, that's popular down south. So here it is. Uh, I'm having fun. I went to the CNC Music Factory concert. Uh, Y'all created back there. I went to, we went to the haunted house and everything. I mean, we're having a great time. I haven't got any place. No, I've been to places, but, but I've been stuck to in line, so I guess so. Junior! So hello, everybody. We're having fun. Yeah! Yeah! We're live at Space Mountain. And we've been standing in line for three hours. And the farthest we moved is progress. Yeah, we're having fun at Grad Night. So far, we've only been on one ride, but now we're in the line for Space Mountain, and it's moving really quick. Dollar seventy-one for a soda. For a soda. I could have got a whole two liter for that. <laughs> and we've been in Mickey Mark. All, all we've been doing is shopping now. We're shopping for our family and ourselves, and we're, not riding. we're in the line for Space Mountain. Well, we went on Space Mountain just now, and we got off, and it was awesome. vicious. It was vicious. It was vicious. Best. It was good. It was wonderful, and we got one here eating some. What is it was it? vicious. I don't know. It's some. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Hi, this is Jazz and Kim. We're in front of the Indianapolis 500. We just got off this fun ride. Mercy and Jason were in back of us. No wonder what they were doing. They hit us several times. Now, poor Kim has a hurt neck. <laughs> The day is our scoop. You got to count them because it's too many to count. That's, that's too many. Let's just say three-fourths of the school year so far. About 30 days. <laughs> Me, I've never skipped. I don't skip. I just take a vacation. <laughs> I guess you could say I lost count. I don't skip. I just be missing the action. One, two, three, da 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 I lost count, I can't even use my toes this time. A studious boy like I does not skip school. He has prearranged absences, a lot of doctor's appointments, and so on. 138 days. Okay, all right. Let's see, there was a time Christmas break. There was a time I wanted to go to the movies. There was a time um, Easter break, but I didn't go because well, I didn't go. And then there was a time I had the plan intended to beat this game, and then there was this, well, there was a whole bunch of times, but, but I didn't miss that many. How many times has Hector Vargas skipped school? <laughs> <laughs> I think a better question is how many times has Hector Vargas come to school? Oh, man.